Call it delicious democracy in action. Six of DC's best caterers served up their finest cocktails and canopies in a hot competition to be voted best in show. The winner will be awarded the contract to cater the American Heart Association's glitzy glam, totally revitalized heart ball in February 2013. I'm here tonight with Guy Raz, the host of NPR's All Things Considered on the weekends, and he is also hosting the Taste of Heart event tonight. Now, would you like to tell us what your favorite food here was tonight, and if you have a favorite caterer? It is actually impossible for me to answer that question. That's the most difficult question I've been asked in a long time because it's all been amazing. I mean, lobster rolls and you know these, these incredible, you know, sort of beetroot, carrot, heart-shaped things. Those were good, weren't they? Um, pot pie in a in a little sort of bite-sized morsel. Uh, just incredible foods. I mean, six caterers that were all just put on an absolutely amazing display of what they can produce and create. Uh, and so I'm still, I'm still not decided. I've got a ballot. I've got a vote yeah. on which which of these six caterers will, you know, host this event. And uh, I don't know. I am still struggling with that decision. Well, hopefully you'll come to a clear-cut decision. Um, could you also please tell us? what the American Heart Association means to you. You know, I think it means something to all of us. And, and, and for the simple reason that we're talking about the number one killer in the United States around the world. Um, I mean, heart disease affects everybody, regardless of their, of their race or creed or religion, gender or age. Um, and to me, it's a no-brainer. I mean, we're talking about supporting an organization that can pour a lot of resources into into research and um, into getting to the bottom of these diseases and these afflictions, and hopefully, you know, we can we can we can you know uh, we can eventually you know we can resolve it. I mean, we can end this this affliction because we are talking about, as I say, the number one killer in the United States. Now, on a lighter note, you are wearing a great suit tonight, and uh, we were wondering, who is it by? What are you wearing tonight? I am wearing, uh, actually, uh, I'm wearing a jacket here. This is a, a jacket that I picked up off the rack at Benetton. So, you know, right. not, not incredibly creative, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a nice jacket. I don't know how it looks on television. It's a little bit, it's not a solid color. No, but it, but it, it, looks it, great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, and uh, this shirt I picked up at, uh, I believe I picked this up at Rag and Bone. Yeah. That's a great brand. It's a, it's a nice, nice shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I can only buy one thing there a year, and it's usually a shirt. You know, they, they're made by hamsters in a workshop, very carefully and meticulously. Well, That's not I'm true. Not aware of that. No, not true. Food is such an important part of our lifestyle, so we're here tonight looking at fun and healthy food choices that we can eat in our everyday lives. We're also here trying the delicious cocktails. We're here with Greg Greenberg, and he's from RSVP Catering. He's going to tell us about some really fun, exciting hors d'oeuvres that we have here. Hi, how are you? All right, we have a heart-shaped roasted beet and carajali stack with a chef mousse. That sounds awesome. Thank you. We have a ahi tuna, Asian ahi tuna with a sesame wonton cone. And then we have a really cool, uh, this is a heart-shaped truffle chicken pot pie okay. with a pepper jack biscuit. What would you say of all of these are your favorite? I, I really, in, I think this is really cool. The, the biscuit with the truffle chicken pot pie. Thank and you. what has been the favorite tonight of all the little delicious treats? I'd say the Asian ahi tuna has been really... It's been the favorite? Everyone's... Uh, okay. 